to open the telescope, I have to use both my hand using this knife. So I'll just uh, uh, show you when I opened it. Okay, I've now opened it. Uh, now let's see what is inside. Uh -huh. It's a little bit difficult. There's the boxes, I must say, it's double layered. Look, normally the boxes are just one layer of this one. This is double layered. It's so stiff to open it. But that means it gives a good protection to whatever is stored inside it. So let me do that. And okay, I, this it has three other boxes inside. One longer one, one a smaller one, and two smaller. So this longer one, I suppose, is the stance, actual the mount itself. And this one, I think, it must be the actual. Uh, motor, motorized uh, mount. Let us see what is. Am I right or not? Okay, I'm now putting this down and go for the next one. Okay, one was out, second one is out, third one is out, the fourth one is out, and the fifth box is also inside. I keep it inside until the last minute. Okay, this part is the heaviest, and I suppose that is the actual st stand mount itself, not the stand the mount itself. So let us see. Uh, let me open this if I can. Oh, nice. Oh, it has a little instruction manual. This is the final product, how it will look when you stand it. And assemble it okay very well protected foamy material about two centimeter thick then it comes inside it the actual mount this is the altazimut mount so it's not equatorial so it doesn't need those kind of polar alignment and uh, you know cumbersome counterweights and uh, all those heavy stuff that you have to hang uh, work it in the dark it's very simple that's the reason about it. Very simple. There's a dovetail bracket here that you actually mount your telescope there. And uh, this is the actual mount. The bottom of it is here. It goes on the tripod. Let me bring it out. First of all, there is a connector here. Okay, that's one. Then the assembly is here. I will just take it out. Yeah, I must say I'm really impressed. It's really well shielded, protected. Look, well padded. Thick layer of the protection for this. And it's quite chunky. I think it's around one kilo, one and a half kilo. Quite have a weight on it. Okay, now I've taken it off this foam, which is molded to the shape of it. I put this uh, foam here. Very well, impressively chunky. It's very strong and chunky. Oh, it has a lot of attachment. On off, snap, power, hand control. Oh, that's hand control is when you want to use uh, one of those sink, they say. That's uh, a <coughs> hand control, but uh, we don't need with the mobile, probably we'll not use that. But it's nice to have it if you don't want to use a mobile for that. And there's a power, um, and this is a snap. But, uh, I don't know what that means, but there's a Wi-Fi also in here. Patent application, patent numbers, it's mentioned here, it's invention. There's the LED light which shows that when it is on. And uh, this is the bracket that uh, you can tighten up the telescope or turn it around, I suppose. That's the where actually the telescope will be attached. Impressively simple. And at the bottom of it is where the it goes on top of the tripod. So this is the mount. Let us see uh, what is inside the rest of the box. Okay, now I'm opening this. And this is the second box. What is inside it? This is it's interesting to know what is inside. Oh, that's the second part, top part of the mount. The tripod, uh, to keep it short and small, uh, they have added an extension, vertical extension, which is this chunky piece of plastic and metal that comes on top of the tripod. And then it, uh, 
the actual altazimuth control motor will be installed on that so it will be like this these other boxes are empty they're just for keeping this space uh, filled with something so the the heavy stuff will not move around very good thought and uh, now uh, let's go and see where is the actual tripod the tripod is uh, impressively uh, small and I'm going now to use this knife to open it I will do it when uh, I'll show you when I've done it okay, now I have cut the seal and just bring the it's impressively again double layered cardboard and inside this is a bubble wrapped piece of equipment with a, oh, that's a triangular tray and this is the actual what is it? yeah, the tripod impressively made of good metal chunky good material stands like that around two feet at this unfolded stage at this, uh, yeah, folded stage it's just two feet Oh, it's impressive. I think this is really good as a photographic tripod also. Uh, let's just see if I attach these things on top of it. Anyway, that will be another video. At the moment, I'm just showing you what is inside. So this is the tripod. You can, I suppose you can extend the, yeah, you can extend the stand, the feet of the tripod. It's a twisty one. A twist extend then uh, twist in the reverse direction it tightens it so overall I'm really impressed with this uh, quality of this uh, it looks chunky it looks relatively uh, heavy able to hold the telescope and above all it's electronic it's belong it belongs to the 21st century what we want is not something from the 19th century 21st century inventions a patent proudly displayed on this what we have now we have a Celestron uh, power tank 17 ampere per hour 12 volt uh, this is what I got for the mount that I'm going to use for the uh, telescope that I have is a Celestron uh, uh, C19 Mac Max Atov telescope. So let's open the power bank or power tank. Okay, here we are. I've now cut the top uh, again, double uh, thickness cardboard. This is what we see nowadays. Anything that comes out of China has this kind of uh, quality packaging for the optical instrument. So this is a Celestron power tank 17 uh, It's well packed with this kind of uh, polystyrene foam and the box is inside here. It's quite heavy It's a mobile power station with spotlight uh, And it has also radio and uh, you can use it for you know uh, Starting your car if you, if you get it stuck. I'm now remove uh, 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 Yeah, the telescopes enter the 21st century. This uh, system works without wire, wireless, completely wireless. Just uh, uses the Wi-Fi to move. And if I attach a camera to, to the telescope, I can just take pictures from my mobile. <laughs> That's amazing. Welcome to the 21st century. Finally.